I am a nurse in the pediatric intensive care unit at Children's Hospital in Minneapolis and a new grad nurse. So this is my first week on the floor, so we're hitting the ground running. Uh, my name is Erica Gandy and I work at Methodist Hospital in the emergency room as a nurse. And you never know what's coming in, so it keeps me on my toes all the time. Well, I actually have a previous degree, and with that, I was pretty unsure of what I wanted to do. And I've always enjoyed volunteering, helping others, um, and nursing provided that for me. And also so many opportunities with that. Um, so I think I've known for a long time, it just took me a while to actually make that decision and go forward with it. Um, I started working at Methodist in the ER about eight and a half years ago as a health unit coordinator. Um, before that, I kind of thought I wanted to do teaching, but then I got a job there and started, just kind of fell in love with medicine. And it took me a little while to figure out what exact, which part of medicine I really wanted to be in. Um, but then as I watched the nurses more and more, I kind of fell in love with that and decided that's what I wanted to do. So. Um, I choose, chose Herzing, um, probably not in a very conventional way. I was looking at all sorts of different nursing schools and I went on the Minnesota Department of Nursing website to see what nursing schools kind of were out there. And I had applied at some of the, um, the two-year programs, um, but I knew that I was always gonna wanna go on and get my bachelor's degree. And then I found Herzing on the, on the Board of Nursing website and they were a three-year accelerated bachelor's program. And I thought, wow, how nice is that? I can go for just an extra year and end up with my bachelor's, which is what I wanted anyways, in case I wanted to move forward. So that's why I did it. Fantastic. And I, <laughs> I pretty much the same. Um, having a bachelor's degree already, I knew that I wasn't going to go back for a two-year um, nursing degree. So, you know, I was looking for that bachelor's program as well. And it helped that Herzing accepted me too, so. So I'll go, I guess, huh? Um... Actually, for both of us, we're really interested in going on to school afterwards. Um, so getting an associate, you would have to get a bachelor's and then continue on. Um, so it's nice to right away get that bachelor's degree. And um, most associate's programs are two years. And the fact that Herzing was three years, it's like pretty much a no brainer. Um, Granted, you know, you don't have your summers off, but you're getting done sooner and it's such a relief that, hey, I'm done and I I have a bachelor's, pro, um, bachelor's degree, so. I agree, and a lot of the hospitals now are more so kind of turning over to hiring BSN nurses over associate nurses. Um, even, I know in the ER, even the nurses that work there that have their associates, there's a strong push for those people to finish and go on and get their bachelor's degrees. Um, so I think when you're applying for, for jobs when you're done, the fact that you have that BSN versus an associate, it between two new grads, if there's a BSN and associates, they're more than likely gonna choose that BSN. Um, I would say that my favorite part about the Herzing Nursing Program is that it's small. Like, you know, you're, you're in a cohort, so when you start, you start with your class. And if you have some classes transfer in, there might be some classes that you're not in all the time. But for the most part, you are with your cohort. You move from freshman, first year of nursing classes to third year, you're graduating. And so you get to have this whole kind of support system as you go with this 32 or, or so class. Um, and with that too, you get more one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers and they're very available for you. So that would be my favorite part, is that it's small. I'm gonna just say ditto to that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, and for me, it helped being smaller as well, just because it helped me learn. And then um, I was able to, you know, I don't really like asking for help, but I felt more comfortable doing so with the professors, just knowing that they were available. I mean, it seemed like 24 seven. So that was fantastic for, for me and to, you know, get me through the program successfully. I think it, it can be very hard. I think for some people it's maybe harder than others, depending on you know your study skills, your study habits, how long it takes you to kind of get a grasp on things. Um, I, I paid very close attention during class and tried to do, it probably sounds bad, but tried to do as little studying outside of class as I had to. Like if I really was paying attention and focusing in on the lectures and maybe looking over lecture notes, you know, before quizzes and tests and stuff, that was good for me. So, but I think you just have to, you have to know that this is three years. You can't not have a social life for three years and still be a happy person that's going to be successful in a program. So you just kind of have to, you have to take time time out for going out with some friends or schedule in study time so you're like okay well at this time I need to go study for a little bit but if you have you know after that or before that you just have to make time. Mm -hmm. And I think with this program too um, being three years and you know you know that you're gonna have a nursing degree afterwards it kind of motivates you to you're gonna you know do what you can and everything possible to be successful and make time for that studying. Um, I worked nights throughout um, and there were several times I would come straight from work so you know sometimes it seemed like class time was nap time for me so not necessarily a good thing but you know I it worked for me though you know working nights and going to class um, and I just I knew what I had to do to you know be successful and go from there. I think that the faculty is really good. Um, they are all, the professors that we had, um, they were all very willing to like talk to you outside of class, email you. Um, they all seem very knowledgeable in the specific classes that they were teaching. Um, like Mrs. Martin uh, taught the OB class while well, she has her, a nurse practitioner, or she's a midwife in um, OB, so she very much so knows the information that she's teaching you. So when you have questions after you've done the reading, if there's something that you're not understanding from the reading, she's able to take from all of the experience that she has and help you kind of understand things. Um, uh, Ms. Schmitz is the director of our program and she was great. Um, she taught a lot of our classes. Um, she taught our critical care class and peds, which she has her um, doctorate in nurse practitioner for pediatrics and works in the emergency room um, at Children's. So she, ha again, had a lot of experience in the classes that she was teaching. Um, and even though she was the director of the, or is the director of the program, she was also made more time for you. No matter what you needed, she was always willing to kind of help you out. So I would say the staff or the faculty is great. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, and again, just kind of going back to the, you know, small class sizes and stuff, um, you know, it's so nice that they would take that time and, you know, they would even check in on you and just kind of see how, see how you're doing along the way. You know, it wasn't just like, um, you know, you see your grades after a test and such. Um, but, you know, if you were struggling early on, they were working with you, you know, right from the beginning. Um, you know, because they wanted to see you succeed as well, um, which was fantastic. And um, they're very engaging. And like I said, you know, working nights and stuff and coming to class after, I mean, <laughs> a struggle to stay awake. But the classes, um, you know, they added components to it that weren't just lecture. So you can't sleep when you're doing group projects. It's not cool. So. I, would, I would say too that the other nice thing is that you you have these teachers 
for the most part for more than just one class. So they do kind of get to know who you are, mm -hmm. what kind of student you are. So if they see a change, they're more apt to be like, hey, what's going on? Is is there something going on in your personal life? Or, you know, because they, they begin to know who you are as a person. So they, they're more perceptive to changes, I think, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Clinicals, they are the best part of the program. <laughs> um, this is the hands-on time and um, you get to see kind of what you know and all the stuff that you have like, you're like, wow, I'm not gonna make it through. But um, yeah, it's just, it's so cool to finally, you know, do the hands-on stuff and um, work with people that are in the field that know so much about it and they can direct you um, with what they know and then you know you can bounce off what you've learned in class with them um, and then it kind of solidifies the fact that yes I want to be a nurse and I want to go through with the program and you know get my bachelor's degree. I agree I think that that clinical time is just really that time where it brings all of the didactic lectures that you're learning all of that stuff that you're sort of like okay and then you get to your clinical and you're like, okay, well, this is why this is important to know, or this is why this is kind of a big deal. So that clinical time really solidifies and kind of is that missing puzzle piece between your clinicals and, or your classes and your end goal as a nurse. So I like clinicals. Me too. <laughs> So your preceptorship is your final summer of the nursing program, and it's 120 hours um, of clinicals, basically clinicals, but you get to do a lot more. Um, there's, they give you sort of a list of different places that you can go to have your preceptorship. Um, I was fortunate enough to, I've, I've worked in the ER at Methodist for a long time, so they were willing to take me on as a student nurse. Um, so I precepted there with one of the nurses that I've known for quite a while. Um, and your preceptorship is kind of awesome because it's that time where they, the nurses that you're precepting with are more, are they know that you're in your last year of your program. So they know that you're about to be a nurse. You're going to graduate and you're going to be a nurse. So they sort of let you I would say they let you do a lot more during your preceptorship dur than during kind of some of your clinicals. Um, so we got to do IVs and catheters and, you know, all that kind of, <laughs> all that fun stuff. But the preceptorships are pretty cool. And then the at the end of your preceptorship, that nurse that you're working with kind of fills out a little form there that tells them, you know, how awesome you are. Because by the end of your Pretty program much. here, you, you'll be ready. And you'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she really just couldn't have said it better myself. But I had the same experience as far as my preceptorship was in the St. Paul Children's Hospital um, in their PICU as well. Um, and yeah, it was like, that's like when you feel like it's all becoming real. And you're like, it's kind of scary, but then it's really cool that you, you know, have learn what you needed to to be successful and be at a good starting point once you start your career. So it's, yeah, it's great. Yes. We did. There, mm -hmm. first of all, there's nothing that anyone will tell you that will make you feel like you are really ready to take those. They're terrifying. They really are because mm -hmm. you feel like Okay, so I have, I have worked for three years so incredibly hard for this test. I mean, like this is, if I don't pass this test, I don't actually get to be a nurse, which is what I've worked for for three years. So that's a really scary and kind of intimidating fact. But when you really kind of stop and think about, so yes, this is the test that you have to pass in order to be a nurse. You, you have for that entire three years basically been studying for this test. You have been preparing for this test for the whole time you've been in school. Um, at the end of our program, they did have a three-day 
um, NCLEX review class, which was really nice. A lady f um, from the ATI program came in and did this whole review. And then afterwards, um, she sort of gave you a, a testing plan for you to kind of follow, take these practice tests. Um, and then you were gonna be, you were supposed to be pretty ready to take your NCLEX. So that was the, that's the only way I studied for NCLEX. I took all of the tests she told me to take um, and I passed on the first time with 75 questions, which is the minimum. So I, I think they well prepare you. Yes. However, I did not get 75 <laughs> questions. <laughs> That's okay. You passed. I, I did pass. So, and the maximum number that you can get, so it does actually end, is 265. And I got about 250 something. But um, it's like you kind of walk out of there and you don't know what to feel like. You don't know if you should like laugh or cry or like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, like Erica said, you are prepared to take it. And throughout the three years, you know, they're getting you ready for that exam because, you know, like Erica said again, if you don't pass it, you're not a nurse yet. So that's, you know, a huge part of getting that job that you really want and starting your career. Um, my biggest piece of advice if you're just starting in the nursing program is is to become involved. Um, they have a student nurse association on campus. Um, it's a great way to not only meet other people in your own class, but it is pretty much the only way you will meet people from the classes above you. And there is nothing like learning from people who have already been in the semester that you are currently in. The first summer semester is pretty intense and it's nice to talk to people who have actually been through that and they succeeded and they made it and they can tell you, yeah, that semester really sucks, but you're going to be fine. Just hang in there. Um, and you get to do social affairs, you know, there's social affairs, so you get to do parties and you get to, um, that's sort of the way that the nursing program does volunteer things too, is through the Student Nurse Association. So I would say get involved, get to know people, get to know your advisor, get to know your professors and cohorts above you because they know what you're going through. And they're the only people that really know what you're going through. Your friends, your family, they don't <laughs> really get it. So the people that are have been where you are and have passed that, they're the only ones that really understand. So I'd say get involved. Yep, and just going off of that, um, it helps, you know, having that because it can be so easy to fall behind being that it's an accelerated program. So making sure, you know, there's so many resources available for you at Herzing, um, you know, be it the class above you that has taken the, those classes already or, you know, your faculty and, and staff and stuff. So, you know, using that and, you're gonna succeed here at Herzing.